Thank you to all the people who make our district the best place to learn and grow. Nineteen eighty-two is when I signed a contract. I'd spent ten years up just south of Chicago teaching. So then I came down here in eighty-two because I was tired of winters up north. And uh, so there was a half a dozen openings. I ended up being the best fit for me. I was at Grisham for a year, and then the next year I came to Westwood. Uh, when I was at Grisham. Canyon Vista hadn't been built yet. They were going to open up the next year. And I think, I think that Grisham was only one of three middle schools. And Westwood was, when I was the year at Grisham, I think it was their second year since it opened. And then I came in the third year. So when I came here, it was Round Rock, Round Rock and Westwood. And they were very different. They had very different needs and, and very different kinds of places. But there was... There was a dynamic there all the time where the schools were in competition and the schools did, but things ended up being equitable. So what's kept you here all these years? Oh, the kids. I mean, it's all about when I, when I went away to college, I, well, I, I always knew for some reason my parents never made it past sophomore year in high school, but I always knew that I needed college because I didn't have, I didn't have very many other skills to use. You know, there wasn't like any English factories or something to go to work at. So the, about the only thing open was teaching. So I kind of stepped into that and I found out I just love kids. I just, that, that, that the love I had for literature was a way for me to reach to them and find out more about them and that, and then, then it just grew from there. So it's, that's why it's hard for me to give it up. I mean, when you, when you do the math from TRS, it doesn't make any sense to stay, but it's just hard to think about um, not having 150 new kids. I tell the kids all the time, I said, when you come back for your 20-year reunion, I said, and I'll only be, you know, 93, and I'll be there still teaching, probably. Really the hardest, so, so when you get older, everything gets harder anyway, okay? You're more tired. But the last three years have been brutal for education. But looking at the kids, at their avatars, and never even know when, when, they, when you see them. I, my favorite story is, I was at HEB probably in November or December of last year. And I'm going through the line and the man's wearing a Westwood baseball shirt and the young woman at the checkout counter said, oh, I, you know, who's your son? Because I play softball and I do all of that stuff. And then I start joking with them, getting in the middle of it. And then I get there and she's checking me out and she said, you sound like my English teacher. And it made me <laughs> happy to see a real kid, but at the same time said, like, we don't even know you. I would know, I would know you and we'd talk and I'd say hi and give you a hug every time I come in here. But I didn't know you. It's important for me because it's the only thing I do really well, you know. So that's why I stay. But I get, I get, I really believe I get more than I give. Thank you, principals, for taking care of our entire school every day. Yay! Thank you, Round Rock ISD leaders, for all the Thank you, SPED team, for letting me learn. Thank you, SPED team, for helping me learn. Thank you, state and federal staff, for caring for students and their families. Thank you to our office staff for always being helpful. Thank you, Technology and Information Services, for making sure our internet is safe and that our computers work. Thank you, I 
working at Wangro ISD is uh, 25 years already. Uh, I working two years at Cedar Valley Middle School, and then I moved to uh, Stony Point High School, 12 years, 12 years. And then I transferred to uh, Cedar Ridge High School, now already 11 years. I can learn from the kitchen because I come from Hong Kong. Uh, everything is different, like the culture, and the language and the eat culture is different too. I learn a lot from the school kitchen because uh, for the communicate with the co-worker so I learn more about USA here or around right here <laughs> because everything is different from my country and um, because we're working together every day we can they learn something from my country, I learn something from their country. Why do you like working in Round Rock High mm, The first reason is I like to cook. I like cooking, so I try working at school and then I love, I love my job. Because I can take care of my kids and also I have my job. And I, I can learn something from there too. Of course, I will get the paycheck too. <laughs> see the kids every day and also I can work at school like, like my second family. So I feel used to it. Every day I come here like I go to my home too. I see the kitchen, also my second family. But uh, I will retire uh, after this year. I think 25 years is uh, a good Memory lumber. <laughs> Thank you, Rangers and Partners, for taking care of our school. Thank you to the Fine Arts Department and all music teachers for making art and music interesting and fun. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Round Rock ISD Police Department, for being friendly and keeping us safe. Thank you behavioral services, counselors, and social workers for helping students, staff, and people in our community. Thank, Thank you to our custodians for giving us a clean place to learn. Thank you, food service for a delicious and nutritious meal you make us. Thank you, bus drivers. Thank you, bus drivers. For getting us to school and back home safely every day. Thank you construction staff for helping us have an innovative place to learn. Thank you.